Hello friends, welcome. This video we will discuss about how to compute variance inflation factor in R Studio. This is the measure we need to use to identify multicollinearity between independent variables in our regression model. How to compute that? This is the formula for jth, jth independent variable. It's 1 by 1 minus R square of that variable. And suppose we have three variables in our regression three independent variables. In that case, we would regress first variable on second and third, like, uh, and the R square we get, that is that R square, the one by one minus that R square for first variable. This is the VIF for first variable. Similarly, we could compute VIF for second and third variable. So if VIF for a variable come more than five, we need to remove that variable because it's multicollinear with other variable. This threshold phi may vary from phi to 10 depending on uh, our literature we are following. So now move to R studio, how to compute that there. Okay friend, this is my file X. This is a file for ACC stock in India. Daily data for some market quality variables like volatility, spread, uh, the market price, trade quantity, value of spot and futures market. But here I'm not using all the data just to make it simple for exposition purpose. I'm using only three independent variable and one dependent variable that is not from theory simply just to make you understand. Okay, friends. So here these are my variables. Uh, all the variables are here. I'm just taking randomly uh, four of them. One is volatility sport is my dependent variable and volatility sport or sorry volatility futures trade quantity sport and value sport is my independent variable and just using simple linear model lm function just to make just to create an x rec linear model object i have just run a regression i can see the summary of that this is my summary where we have uh, individual coefficients their t values p values here we can see only volatility futures variable is significant others are not but f value here the, the p value of the overall f statistics is highly significant that means there is some inconsistency individual coefficients are not significant but overall model is highly significant that shows there is some chances of multi collinearity so how to identify that first we can just make a correlation matrix and just to round it off to two digits oh this is my correlation matrix uh, i see there are two variables trade quantity spot and trade value spot they are 98 percent like almost similar variables therefore we need to remove one of them but which one need to remove therefore we need to compute vi for each of them i am using car car package for using VIF function you can use other three there are three or four other packages also you can just google them uh, but I'm using it because it's more simple so I'm using the function VIF VIF function here on this linear model the object we have created by regression x reg I'm using that here so VIF of x reg so by that formula we know there are three independent variables so for each variable there would be some vif so we have computed that for volatility futures this is the vif 1.23 for trade quantity sport second variable it's 26 for sport it's value sport 25 so we had three variables independent so there are three vif values for each of them so here if you want to uh, so in the next video friends we would discuss uh, how we compute these vif functionally suppose we do in excel or other simple so just we need to make intuition how it comes what is the uh, so that i will do in next video thank you friends keep watching